Well, hello there, good people of YouTube. I'm Jay Slay. Thank you so much for joining me. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're playing some Madden 21, but before we get into it, if you enjoy the content, leave a like rating. And if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. If you missed our previous video, I'll leave a link in the description of this video for you to go check it out. But in it, we discuss some budget players that you should be adding to your No Money Spent squad. Now, as you can see, we are in Tampa, Florida, and... If I'm in Tampa, Florida, that can only mean one thing. It is the Super Bowl. Now, I guess I could be in Tampa, Florida playing Tampa Bay Buccaneers if someone happens to be rocking their home stadium as a part of their uh, ultimate team stadium. But nonetheless, that's not the case here. Today, it's the Atlanta Falcons versus the Dallas Cowboys in my first Super Bowl. Now, this is an unrealistic Super Bowl, obviously, because the Falcons wouldn't be playing the Cowboys. This would more likely be the NFC Championship game, but that doesn't matter in Mutt. In Mutt, what matters is watching Cam Akers break off about a 50-yard run right up the gut. Yeah, I still can't stop Cam Akers. You know what, though? Marcus Peters can go out here, and he can pick one off, and we're going to be going the other direction. We're going to be heading down the field now on offense. But, yeah, this is my uh, first Super Bowl. Um, this was... I believe my second season, I think in our, our first season, we made the playoffs, but I think I lost in the first round as we hit a nice little PAY shot dot right there to Andre Johnson. Uh, PAY shot is a huge, huge staple of my uh, offense, as you'll see. Um, I've really, really kind of come into my own as in passing. Now, I still make a lot of mistakes, uh, but... My passing offense has evolved so much in just a short amount of time. Um, in Madden 20, uh, or rather, let me take a step back to Madden 18. In Madden 18, I got to be honest, man, I was the uh, biggest virgin when it came to playing Madden. I would uh, do pretty much nothing but run and call stock passing plays, and I had no dots. I had no reads whatsoever. Now, I'd get some wins because, you know, that's just how the game goes, but nonetheless, I did not really have a good grasp on how to run an offense, and uh, I'm still learning. I'm still evolving my game. We are still improving, but I am leaps and bounds better than what I was in, in Madden 18. Uh, Madden 20 started to come around, and then now I'm starting to really kind of find my own. This is the first Madden year that I've actually gotten the game, um, you know, right when it came out. Uh, in Madden 18, I don't believe I purchased it until about, I'd say, mid-November. Um, no, that's wrong. It was, uh, it was early October when I purchased Madden 18. I didn't even play Madden 19. I don't know why. Uh, but then Madden 20 it was about the same. I purchased it, I want to say, in around mid-October. So most of the teams were already at around, you know, 93, 94 overall by that point. And, um, you know, I'm running around here with 70 overall players trying to compete. And, uh, you know, it feels good to get the game right at the beginning and kind of learn the game as it evolves over time as opposed to kind of picking up where everybody else knows the meta already as uh, this guy was hitting me with some dots on the outside there. Um, he was a pretty good player. I, uh, I really had a, had a fun game play, playing this one as Grant Delbert unfortunately couldn't come away with that pick. That was just out of reach there. Um, but th this this was a good guy. He gave me a, he gave me a really good game. Um, Cam Akers, I tell you what though, if uh, you're looking for a, a running back, um, Cam Akers is, is a very, very solid option, that's for sure. But uh, but nonetheless, so uh, really what I want to kind of talk about in this video, I don't have a, a topic per se, um, but just one thing that I've been doing over the last couple of days playing the game is um, is really getting comfortable with this Miami offense and uh, gun formations. Now, the main formation that I run out of this Miami Dolphins offense is split close. Uh, split close has a lot of uh, a lot of good variety of plays that you can run. The main downside of split close is is there's only two wide receivers on the field and a tight end. So, you know, you want to use utilize that tight end spot uh, for a speedy tight end. And in our case, we've got Jonu Smith. But a lot of the route combinations you just saw one right there with PAY shot, um, you know, are really going to allow for you to get, a, get someone open on just about every play. 
Um, the half, I uh, believe this is a uh, halfback base play, is not the greatest uh, run play. However, you can audible into a few good run formations if they come out in 3-3-5, big dime 1-4-6. You can audible down into a good run formation and, you know, really kind of throw the defense off. Uh, this play, though, um, it's in a lot of different different playbooks. It's a lot of, in a lot of different gun formations, the mesh uh, play. Um, what I like to do is uh, put two flat routes with my wide receivers on the outside, either streak the tight end or the slot receiver, or put him on a, a corner route, just the stock corner route that comes with the play, and then put your running backs on wheel routes. And there's usually something open, whether it's the running back downfield or if they're playing hard flats, or if they are playing, you know, a deep blue on on the outside, then you're going to have one or both of the receivers uh, open in the flat there for a good five to ten yard gain. And really, those plays can kind of be an extension of your running game. So if you aren't a runner, um, hey, congratulations, you have graduated from wetting the bed. So I I really want to applaud you on that. But if you're not a runner, um, you know, you can utilize passing plays as an extension of your running game. Um, you know, you always want to keep the defense on their toes. So mixing in the run every now and then is not the worst thing in the world, but you want to do it sparingly. Now, this inside zone play, if you are new to this year's Madden, this inside zone play out of the, uh, the trips formation, um, whether it's uh, trips tight end, where he's on the line, trips, tight end, offset. Uh, that inside zone play is pretty, pretty difficult to stop. And trips, tight end also has a lot of good formations. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a lot of good plays in the formation that you can utilize. Kind of brings me back to the point that I was initially saying is that, um, yes, I utilize split close. However, there are a couple plays uh, out of the in the Miami playbook uh, that I'm starting to utilize that are in different formations. Uh, Miami does not have the best gun bunch, but they do have one or two plays that are uh, solid that you can use. Uh, you can call a couple hot routes to get a few different routes that are on the field. Now, this is going to change a good bit whenever I'm able to get a tight end apprentice, whether that's George Kittle or Jermichael Finley. I think Finley's probably the better option. He's a little cheaper, even though... 250,000 coins right now is uh, definitely not cheap, that's for sure. But Kittle, with his power up and everything, which you need to get him to the uh, for the tight end apprentice, goes for uh, I want to say about 250k, not counting the training. Jermichael Finley you can get for about 240 to 250k, and you don't have to you don't have to utilize any training, so that's kind of good. Well, you do to get the apprentice, but not to power him up. So, but. Um, but yeah, once you once the game evolves and you're able to get, um, you know, receivers with uh, slot apprentice, with um, outside apprentice, with uh, route runner um, uh, or route apprentice rather, uh, or quarterbacks with hot route master, you know, that's going to really evolve the offenses. Now we're talking later down down the road, but you know, some of these receivers already can get outside, can get slot apprentice, so you know that really kind of can take your offense to the next level, but. The point that I want to make is just if you get comfortable utilizing a one, you know, one formation, you know that you have that in your back pocket. But get comfortable going through the playbook and just mixing in some different formations from time to time, giving the offense some different looks. So it's just tinkering, right? Playing around with the playbook, playing around with different formations, and kind of finding what suits you. But nonetheless, I was kind of rambling during this video. Didn't really know what to talk about. Wanted to bring you this, show you the uh, the first uh, Super Bowl that uh, we were in. And uh, we obviously had to put together a money drive towards the end. Motioned over this out route here to Jonu Smith. Catch it, get out of bounds. 17 seconds left. We still have the one timeout left, so I felt comfortable enough to be able to run the ball here. Audible down, run the ball, have forced him to use the timeout. You know, that way if he did get a final possession, he's, he's limited as what we can since we're already in field goal range. But Saquon's just going to run into the end zone, man. Saquon's just doing Saquon things. I don't know what his touchdown dance is, pointing his fingers in the air. But nonetheless, whatever he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. But our opponent here is going to uh, run, end up running the clock out. And uh, nonetheless, that's going to do it for this game here. As you can see, hits the slant route. There's still one second left. He could have hit a nice little Hail Mary here towards the end, but... 
we were able to clutch up the Super Bowl, and that's our first Super Bowl victory thus far in Madden 21. Well, that is going to do it for me. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like rating, and if you'd like to see more content, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. I'm Jay Slay. I'm signing out today. I'll catch you all on my next video.